Hi, I'm Lisa Lane and I teach history. This is my History of England class in Moodle. It is organized as a syllabus where each week has its own block. And I'm going to turn it to student view so you can see exactly what the students see. Week one, week two. Each week has a particular pattern. The first thing they do each week is the assignment. The assignment includes textbook pages, any web materials, links to the documents that they have in their printed workbook, and also a lecture. And my lectures have audio and the lecture written out, sometimes video clips. That's the assignment. Then they go to the discussion board when their first post is due on Wednesday at midnight and for the first part of the week they post sources related to the era that we're studying and then on those are due Wednesday midnight and then on Thursday usually I come in and make my post for the week and my post describes the collection and provides direction as to what they're supposed to do next. I also comment on what was done the last week. I'm usually having them put these sources together uh, to create a thesis. For weeks where we have a quiz, and that's every other week, the assignment and sources are followed by a study guide. And they can take the study guide twice. The study guide consists of all of the multiple choice questions that I might use on the quiz. And they can take this twice. It doesn't tell them um, which ones they missed, but it does tell them what score they got so they get an idea of how well they're studying. And then they can take the quiz itself. I put the quiz itself at the end of the unit even though it's actually due the following Monday. This seems to help uh, prevent confusion. So that's the way my course is set up and it helps tie together the assignment, the discussion, and the assessments. 